Yeah, so he's he. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you go Palatina. He does fight a lot of. That's, yeah, that's how he was playing like for the most of the winners' side while he was going up. So Paulo, the Paulo, yeah, rocking the Paulo the entire way through. His ledge trapping was immaculate. I had seen yeah. for the most part, like every single time. Just every every time his opponent was on the ledge, he wasn't getting back on. Yeah, I mean, how many PRs so, did we have tonight? Like uh, three. Ah! Did we have? We had only had what? I mean, Chag's probably PR in his region. Then we yeah, had Mass is there. Chag from somewhere else. And then um, Mass was only like one PR today. Yeah, I think he is actually the only PR PR. Like, uh, like out of like top twenty, like top in SoCal for sure. I think that was him. Master, top yeah. Top ten. There's only Master, yeah. Master and Chag were the only. Yeah. yeah so here we go, game one. Kenya versus Chag. But a lot of uh, individuals who you know aren't from unfamiliar to this like territory in the esports arena. I see these guys at the top eight like almost every week now. So yeah. Detonator started off pretty strong. Coming up with some up trying to keep him juggled up there in the sky as well. Inkling just kind of throwing aerials out, feeling each other out, you know? Yeah, because I don't really know how I feel about this matchup. I would think Inkling just beats Bowser Jr. But from what I've been seeing as of late from Bowser Jr., I feel like it can't be that bad anymore. As, like, now more people are figuring out the Inkling matchup. Cool. One thing Inkling doesn't want to do is try to get above uh, Bowser Jr. or Wendy, as they say. Oh, okay. The up air is really strong and really good in this game. So if you get grabbed at low percent, or if you try to jump over my low percent, the up air streams will be really good. There you go with the jab. I think it should be living with proper DI. Both of these characters, great jab combos. Really, really good jab. Some of the top five jabs in the game. For sure. Right, Hit him with the roller. Hit him back. How are we going to punch this? Gets back onto him with the side B, but gets him with the shield grab. Puts him back off the stage. Inkling instead in advantage. Kind of just dashing around, letting him back on the stage. I wonder, if Chag, I wonder what the percentage is for the up throw up there for Inkling. I wonder how high it is for Bowser Jr. I feel like a Bowser Jr. is kind of like a not too light, but still decently heavy. Kingman yeah. played really well. After he's done one hard aerial and he takes the stock. Trying to piss him out with the forward Gets him with that. That should be a That's kill. Yep, there it is. It's going to be the forward smash. Jack up a stock. 150% though. Got to even it up. Right, Gets him with that kind of shield. Really good. So this is the percent right here. Yeah. This is the percent right here where Bowser Jr. can rack on a whole lot. Well, both characters rack on a whole lot of damage on zero percent. For sure. Trying to land those up tilts. Gets him with the up throw up air. So definitely going to be really strong at early percent, but kind of ambitious with that roller. Gets hit with the down air. I've noticed Wendy's down air is really good. Bowser Jr.'s down air is insane. Yeah, it's really good. I would like to see him use it more when he's around the kill percent. Because when you're at low percent, it's kind of like negative. So people could, as you see, uh, it'll be really good to him. Yeah, but that tag has a really good control of this map right now. Bowser Jr. needs to get, Tater needs to get a combo swing started if he, I want to feel a little more comfortable heading into the last dog. For sure. I know it's hard to get, like, inkling out of the, the air or just, like, away. It's just so slippery. Yeah. Every single time it's bobbing and weaving, in and out, in and out every time. That low profile dash. Just putting the work, looking for that back air there. Then they're coming back down with a down air. Try to hit him with that mix-up grab, but can land it up smash the, uh, out of shield. Gonna do the scoop. He was fishing for a lot of it with the forwarder. He finally, what I do see from Chag, you can tell he plays a, got a lot of practice with the Bowser Jr. in you, because he's punishing a lot of his forward air, because Bowser Jr.'s forward air is like three hits, and he's punishing on the second hit. You see him do it with the grab, and the last fight you see him do it with an up smash. So it's really good. Nice, Chag. Trying to, trying to get a combo started and starting to run away with this one, honestly. Yeah, Tater going with the desperate options of the F smash. There you go. Nice cancel out of the roller. Almost at the punish. Yeah, another F smash again. He needs to take yeah. the stock. Another F smash again. And yeah, instead. He's going for the desperate. Oh, gets rollered. And that's going to barely take the stock. Tater. Uh, Looking kind of upset about that one. Yeah. I mean, but it's kind of hard for. I mean. It's kind of hard for Bowser because he wanted to net the stock and so he could get the 0% and get the combo going. Exactly. But right there, he need try to fish for more of like his poking tools instead of F-Smash. I see what he was going for because if Bowser Jr. does F-Smash on your shield and if you don't parry it, on the it's positive on shield and most people fish for grab. And then from there, he could do um, side B to spin out. So that's what he's going for with Chag and fall for it now once. So that's where he got punished for it. For it. Exactly. So that's going to show. Right now, let's see how Taternator can uh, basically... Uh, 
try to get back into this one. Game two. Tag up stop. Instead, they switch over to a Smashville. Yeah. What Taylor are we thinking about the stage here? Uh, I think Tater likes it probably because he likes that middle platform to get a lot of his upper streams going. But I would, uh, but from what I've been watching from him right now, it seems like he's having a real hard time getting, like, netting the kill when Chag is over, like, 120. Like, he has no problem hitting him right now when he's below 100, but he has a hard time of netting the kill. So maybe he went to Smashville, so he has a better time of, like, keeping him in close spaces to get a hard read of F Smash or up Smash. So using these bombs to their advantage, and again, great with the items every single time. You check out, you check out that down, be a little too much, they start picking it up, you know? Yeah. Ooh, nice. that was super good. That though. was great really awareness good. for my boy Terminator. Wow, did he hit him? Out? It seemed like he hit him off the up B. He did. He was he coming out that B <laughs> and like slapping him too at the same time. It's crazy. Really good. He was already swinging. Oh, he nice. fished that and found that too. That was crazy. Yeah. See, that's one thing that sets that separates Chad from many other Inklings. If you don't know how to like up throw upper with Inkling, then you're gonna have a hard time killing with this character. Yeah. That was really good. Like, I mean, Chag, I mean, you see the more higher level. Oh, he, oh that oh, was so good. Oh, except the jab lock. He I really, went for the roll I really like that. I really like that. He had a good awareness. He knew he couldn't get that much off with. Yeah, he couldn't, get, he couldn't get the kill off of this, yeah. so instead he tried to add a little more. That was really good. But he racked up a, a good amount of damage on him. Yo, this flat bomb. Yeah. Doing easy. damage to these side bees. Really good. Gets him with a jab combo. Instead, this is what Terminator is yeah. looking for. Now we got to make sure we use as much of the situation as we can. He needs to really capitalize off, like, uh, Bled trapping him because that's the only time I feel he can really. Oh, good, good up smash. Good up smash, I think. Because I feel he's having a hard time in neutral versus uh, Chai Inkling, so I think his best bet to rack up damage is Bled trapping. Yeah, it's going to be all in the fun game for this ooh, one, but man, ooh. that up air is still landing even up so. Or up air. I feel like he kind of like delayed it a little bit to make sure to catch the fall instead. It's, yeah, it looks. It also looks like Bob Jr. It looks really strong, Bobby Jr. for like a really good window. So I feel like if you're playing Inkling, I feel you should definitely try. To practice your up throw up air, so it's very awesome. Uh, that up B out of shield, protecting him a little bit. See how we're gonna take this stock. Okay, it does. Man, throwing it out. See, as you see, went for right there, the S smash to side B. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to see if he tries to. You go. just gotta see the different ways that Terminator could possibly take the stock yeah, instead oh, because, go, man, he's running on him. Oh my. Yeah, so because Bobby Jr. is forever gonna be combo Ooh, 65%. Food. Yeah, that was a. Uh, he said a double back. I think one of the backers tripped him. <laughs> <He got a re -go. laughs> it looked like, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, he wow. like switched it into an air yeah. and then like, oh, that, was a good, that, that was a good air dodge. He dodged the bomb right there. Ooh, what's going to kill here? I want to see Tater punish some, punish a little bit harder. Yeah, hey, not kill. bad. 192 killing Inkling. I mean, I wish Tater, I'm pretty sure he wish he could kill him a lot sooner. Yeah. But I mean, the stock's a stock. Stock's a stock though, right? Now he needs to get, what we haven't seen Tater doing, hitting none of uh, Bobby's Green Titan and up air combo screens. Uh, it seems like Chag's been doing a good job of staying away from that. Like, the roller. Here we go. There we go. We got it right there, going. It's somewhat of an even game right now. Bob's Jr., if you have the kill power to kill, easily. Okay, Depending on the way that these guys are both spacing each other out yeah. now, Chag is definitely having the upper hand in a lot of the neutral exchanges, but this time this is Taternator's chance yeah. to basically even out this game. Yeah, Tater needs to be somewhat be... I mean, Forder space is really good, but he also needs to be careful because last game you seen him calling off with up smash. Oh, exactly. that was, Ooh, that, that wave was dash really, back? <laughs> that was really good by Chag. That was, that, was good, <laughs> that was a good council air dodge by Chag. Grab. He catches those items every time, not falling for it, so Terminator gonna have to find another way around or some He's other way in. Find his play. He's, having, uh, He's working those side bees every single time. Punching really, every yeah. single time. Oh, oh, that, that oh, one, though. oh and that oh, takes, he it? takes it. He oh, takes it like that. I, I don't know. It, I don't, it looks like uh, Chag was retreating. Yeah, that that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that was pretty suspect. You had to be throwing the suspect, other way, yeah. But Terminator, he said he'll take it. The take those, so it was really, it was a cool exchanges back and forth, but very unfortunate by Chag getting caught by the back air from Tatenator. Do you know how old Chag is? Like, what, 17, 16? 17, yeah, dang. Oh, wait, is he? No, I mean, is he? No, I'm is asking. He? I, I have no clue. Oh, okay, I, really no, I was asking. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. I have no clue. I think it's, a, it's probably somewhere around there. No, I know, I know Spargo being like 
Spargo being super, super young. Because I remember when he was like, like a bail, he was a underage bail during work for sure. for it. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's about like 16 or 17 now. Okay, okay. That Don't quote me. Okay. Yeah. I'm because uh, I was, I, I definitely came from a different scene. Yeah. Like I didn't play Smash 4, so I'm okay, just trying to get used to it. Most of the PR players around this area or around SoCal in general, but I know he comes from Yeah, Mexico but with though. Ultimate, you got a lot of new fresh blood going, like I was mentioning earlier. Yeah. Even though there's only one SoCal PR players, we still got 72 players here. Yeah, that's my number one yeah. thing about SoCal I noticed is that a lot of our, even though like our ranked players aren't like up up there, you there's know still what I mean? a lot of, you get a the lot of unranked interest. players are nasty, dude. Some of the unranked players, they're yeah. there. They're, they're really good, and you get a lot of interest too, so it just shows the direction that Ultimate's going. Exactly. So it's really good to watch. There you go, game three. I think this is best. This is winner so much, right? Yeah, this is actually, yeah, this is what it sounds like. Winner Summit. Other side, Winner Summit. He goes, he's a very, uh, he doesn't react fast enough to get the punish. Yeah, he was looking Terry, for something. Terry Summit seems to escape, but he no. gets the up throw up Every single time, the combo I mean, oh my Lord, that has to be true or something, because that's just. Yeah, he does it so, man. Yeah, I'm that, pick up it's, it's super, I know. <laughs> Yo, I got to play this character, bro. Yeah, I got to see that. Why, 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 didn't, why didn't we listen to everyone week one? <laughs> I mean, do the Inklings, I mean, do you know how the DKs have a, like a ding dong calculator. I wonder if the Inklings have that as well, because that seems very. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got to see the uh, oh, amount, down amount of Inklings oh. that are still. He's really good at racking up the debt. Oh. Being played, but. Oh, he throws it back at himself. Throwing another one, charging up the ink, giving him just a little bit too much time. Chag not falling for any of the. Of none of it, dude. That's what I'm saying. He's not falling for any of the mixes, so maybe Tater might have to get a little more creative. On exactly. his approach options, because Chag seems to have every option stuffed out. Oh, oh man, he read that nah, roll all, uh, all the way. Very unfortunate. Chag seems to be taking a little catch up. <laughs> he just waits. Tater, Dude, both of them with the patience to just hit him with another roller yeah. instead. He didn't want another roller. Tater just needs to find, like, just need to be patient. Like, see, these up, these F smash reads, I see what he wants to do. He wants to catch him off guard, catch him dashing forward with the F smash, but he needs to try to just go for jab reads. I mean, his jab will get the gutter, though. There you go. Yeah, his jab will get the jab done by well, Lev around 120-130. I would like to see him implement a little bit more jab into this game. Exactly, but Chag really showing, you know, the power of the top tier character right now. Yeah, I like He's running circles around him. Hopefully Tatanator can get it together, figure it out. You know, maybe playing over here at the ledge might work. He doesn't get it, there you go. Has him on the ledge. Let's see some more ledge trapping by Tater. See if he can get it going. Uh, you see, I've really seen him go for that a couple times and he's whiffed it like every single yeah, time. Yeah, it's almost. like very He's getting caught by a lot of whiff punches. Oh, we need to be careful. Because I feel like what Chag is doing now, Chag is doing call out roller. So, like, right now, if Tater whips an attack or doesn't get that combo confirmed, he goes for the whip. He goes for the side. He goes for the roller. Every single time. But Wendy's sitting here at a 138%, just holding on for dear life. Like said, just dashing back and forth. This one's the back Trying end. to get this looking like a slow Chag. pulling teeth, man. Yeah, Chag's in the lead. With the less. Chag is racking up a lot of damage with the ledge right now. He's not letting Tater get right back to the ledge. Aw, uh, and that's going to do it. That's an untackable right there. That was the red blast. Yeah, wow. Chag taking it but up very convincing, A very convincing game three he took One, there. looking like. It's up 2-1 versus Tater. Tater exactly. needs to hit a little more composure, pull out some more tricks. Exactly. Try to hit him up with some stuff he hasn't seen before. Chag seems to have an answer for all of Tater's call outs. So the F-Smash, side B to the Mecha Koopa read up up there. Exactly, and that game way more convincing than the game two where Tatanator was able to bring it back last talk, but Chag basically saying, yo, that was a fluke. Let's yeah. see what they ended up bringing it back to instead. Looks like they're going for FD, but he did the Picto Chat 2 counter pick, bro. The Pico Chat? The Picto Chat, yeah, the Picto Chat counter pick, man. Wait, is this, is this actually legal? Isn't this like a 2D one? I don't know. Is it? I mean... Is it? I don't know if this is legal, actually, now that I think about it. Well, I don't know if Pico... I know um, Duck Hunt... <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't think, I think this stage is No, fine. this one should be okay. This one should be okay. Three, yeah, this one isn't 2D, is it? I don't, I don't think so. This one shouldn't be 2D. Not from what I remember. Yeah, it I remember it was like way. Duck Hunt. I know it was like Duck Hunt, Pac-Man, and one of the other ones. Okay. I think I think either way, they're, they both agree to it, so whether or not it isn't. Tanner Nader looking for this FD counter pick. Maybe help him out in the matchup. Make him fall for a couple more things. Do you saw that drag down up here right now? Yeah, that was really <laughs> You're like cool. dragging him down with it. That was awesome. I wonder, when, I wonder what it is. Catch up with, I'm sorry. Tater likes about the Pico chat stage. Exactly. It, might, it looked like he like chose the song, which is what it was. So. Yeah, okay. Oh, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. 
cool. So, misplacing Chag. Going down a stock for Tatanair. Tatanair having the first lead for, I think, the entire game. But, oh, we're getting something started here. FD looking like the counter to make. Tries to land on, on him with the down air. Really making him run around a little more for these combos instead. And these rollers instead were able to actually punish stuff. Yeah. He's doing really good. Has a good start. But there we go, Chug with the up throw. Up air again. Very patented. Like I said, again, inklings. You get your up air, up air going. This is a very awful. I hardly see any inklings do it. I mean, like the higher exactly. level inklings, I see them get them all the time. A lot of the people inklings, they hardly ever net them. They fish too much for the side. Dude. Exactly. Every time, though, it's looking like this time, Taternator actually being able to Ooh, pull there stage himself and land. the call out. This is the roll out. Lands it this time. It's landed. Taternator, you keep up this momentum to go into game five. Winner of this event is the winner's finals. This yes. would be really good for Taternator right here. He needs to just stay out of the combo range of Inkling. He's really good. Dude, this time, we're going to look at Chuck trying to get something yeah. started. He got a lot of things started right now. What he's doing right now is zoning really well. He just needs to like force him to play around there Mega Koopa in his cannonball game. He doesn't really have to approach Chag really. Because he has a lead. But I can see if he wants to approach like a nice up smash. Taking it this time actually blocking some of the rollers, but right when I say that, gets caught by one himself, gets get grabbed. Is he gonna get this? Again, he is gonna one. get this every single another, time. Yeah, he's really I'm Dude, telling you. He is on point with those. You have to, you have to. If you're not doing that throw up or wing swing, there's something wrong with you. Man. He's going to yeah. block the whole thing, or not. Tater just needs to tone it down some. Hope that Chad gives him something. I feel Tater's the one playing a little bit too aggressive. He's jumping at him with the forward air. Exactly. Got to yeah. play just a little bit less aggressive. Be a little more patient with it. Because you know Inkling, he doesn't Here's have that. too many tools except for the nice. down B. But I wonder, if you want, I wonder if you wanted to pick that up right there. Dude, he's looking for a Ooh, hard nice, oh, that, that was nice. That was really good. Dude, he's Taternator. Covering wonder, all the zones. Yeah, I wonder, what happened. I wonder if uh, Chag was going for the recovery or if he missed the ledge. But exactly. that was nonetheless good stalling by Taternator to send in the game five. Exactly. Evening it up by the both of them. For a lot of the games, it looked like Chag was like super, super in yeah, the lead. The, but the this games time, Chag won, yeah, it looked like he was really Yeah, it looked so dominating like he wasn't able to come back. But this one, this one, Taternator throwing a different side of himself, pulling it together. Oh, Chag with the switch into the Palutena, though. Oh. I hope Tate is ready for this one. Dude, I hope he's ready for this one because some of the ledge traps I saw earlier today from Chag's Palutena were nasty. Yeah. So this is going to be a different story. Runs up and goes for the Town and City pick too, so maybe a little more space to be able to keep him on those side and that side yeah. platform going to help him a lot with the ledge trap and stuff. I mean, Tate has his work cut off for him in this one because Palutena is just... This character's all holding up. Dude, she it's really such a different model. This character's broken, man. Is there some of the down tilts that you, you, yeah. you be doing with the thing? Oh, I mean, man. Chag, he's secondary. He secondary's a really good character. Like, exactly. Inkling and Palutino, what, I mean... Where can you go wrong? Yeah, like, what zones aren't you covering? Yeah. You know what I mean? Comes down with the falling there. Hits a, uh, tries to get him with the side B instead, but every single time you can see the way that Chag plays, like, every time he gets him onto the side, just keeps him there. Yeah. Ooh, Tatum is getting tricky with him. coming back on. He's fine. He gets it with the close explosive plan. How did he even do that? Like, he just yeah. put it right yeah, below like in a, front of him on the side. That was, that was really, nasty. That was, a, that was a really good one. <laughs> it's like, what? what's the input for that one? Yeah. <laughs> I think he did, like, a light view reverse one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably what it is. Starting the Nair Train on. Oh, okay. Ooh, it falls out of it, though. Wasn't ready for it. Oh, oh Terranator going oh, all the way oh, up to the sky. Yeah, yeah. He, he went high up there. Dude. He went to take the stock. She is an angel. He's putting her where she belongs. Where she belongs, right? Goddess. Yeah, he's putting her where she belongs. Give, <laughs> give her back to the sky. <laughs> Take out the game. We go. Oh, with the oh whiff. both of them with the whiff punish with the, the upper win. and the F smash. She needs to be careful right here. This is exactly oh, what Palatina wants. Man. This is very scary to Dude, that was right a cool, now. like, 50 damage or something. 50, really 60 damage oh, off go. that. He's a watch out. Well, the left shaft tracks. Here we go. Chaxi, the left shaft's going to go for the down yeah. Yep. Actually, we get back on. Now we got to make this worth it. Oh, what gets it with the back air. That doesn't kill, but puts him in a really bad position. Ooh, I think he messed up that explosive flame. Yeah, oh, it looked like he... He wants to space it onto the yeah. ledge, I was thinking. But now we need... To, oh, there we go. Oh, it's the back air. That's going to take the stock. Tatus keep getting punished for the um, approaching with the, with the, with the forward air. Oh, man. Chag really showing him. With the drags around. Yeah. Gets him with a jab combo. Taternator this time going to have to figure it out how to punish this Palutena and keep him off the stage instead of the other way around. Yeah, but these Nair strings are always going to keep racking up damage. 
Terry wants to get rid of this Pulse stock right now. And we're on the smash. way. Get up, smash out of shield. It seems like he. Oh, here we go. There. Oh, here we go. How are we going to oh, get this? Oh, nice he goes all the way up. Nice call by Tater. See, Dude. when these games are looking in control for track, <laughs> Tater seems to keep finding a way to, like, maintain his, like, keep taking the stock, keep keeping the game. Man, I'm really enjoying watching this Wendy right now. Yeah. I got to really say. Good. Really enjoying watching the Wendy. The stuff that he's able to do is really, really hype. The he's odds really stack against him, though, playing yeah. against his Palutena right now, yeah, especially him being down this, this Yeah, but he's set. making track work for us. That's what's the key is right. Here we go. Down to the back there, punishing the jab. Terry needs to get from the ledge right now, rack up some damage. Come on, just can't oh, fall for all the ledge trap options, but how are we going to be able to get back on? No, he, no oh, every single I, time, I, keeps coming in with the area. Oh, um, oh, oh no, I think he the missed wind. the ledge, dude. No. Yeah. Dang. Very unfortunate. It looked like he was going for the air cross up air dodge, but good games by Tater. Exactly. Chad no. doing really well on the ledge trapping. He netted so many stocks off the ledge trapping. Tater had a really hard time getting up from the ledge, so that's where Chag capitalized mostly off. Exactly, of. Chag not a bad, uh, not not a bad player to lose to at all. Nah. Tater, nothing to be ashamed of for that one. That but was a really good showing, especially the, being able to keep his cool for the most part, like throughout a lot of the inkling games that yeah. were going on too. He so hopefully we see Tater make it back through losers. Yeah, he kept it competitive the entire time too. So that's exactly, really kept it close Tater. too. Really good by Tater. Really good by Tater. Cool. So next, I think T3 Dome versus Chag. This is the winners finals. Winners finals. Winners yeah. finals. <laughs> okay. So we can do them. Uh, Loose bracket still going yeah. through. If we can see the bracket, yes, yeah, looking like T3 Dome versus Chag 